bit of a change. Right? I've mentioned it in the past episode, but I'm I'm trying to actively. You know, there's this thing about active reading, right? Active listening, which is like this idea that you know we passively watch, read, listen to things all the time, right? Whether it's I do it all the time on Netflix these days, where I just skip. I don't know about you, but I've got a habit of skipping forward on things on Netflix. I don't really, you know, I try and get out of the little mini dialogue and just go straight to the action. I do it a lot. Even movies is really bad. Um, but that's because I'm on my phone. That's because I'm reading something else. I've got another tab open, right? I'm just doing loads of other shit. So there's this idea that you should be actively doing things, right? Actually pay your pay, uh, allowing yourself to be engrossed in whatever you're doing, paying as much attention as you can. Even if it's for a 20-minute spurt, just give all your attention to it. So um, with that kind of active kind of participation of things, I've been thinking about this idea of like how I go out and how I enjoy nightlife. Because I said before, you know, as much as I enjoy the hedonistic sort of like party lifestyle of things, right? Whether it's drinking and all these other recreational activities I might do on the side. The actual thing that I love mostly out of going out is this idea of meeting new people, right? Connecting with new people. Like um, I'm, I'm, I'm part of the, uh, the Art Techno WhatsApp group the london meetup one i'm part of um i'm on the techno subreddit i'm on the dj subreddit um, i go on the forums i watch i check out resident advice all the time i'm on electronic beats i'm scanning through people's i'm scanning through instagram um location feeds right people posting things from Berkheim and stuff i'm involved i'm plugged in right i go out all the time i'm fucking in i'm listening to fucking dj's interviews and all that malarkey i'm listening to fireside chats that no one else listens to probably i'm involved in stuff i'm mixing myself i'm buying records i'm downloading records i'm whatever i'm involved so i love the actual community around it right that's mostly what i like i don't they're getting fucked up about it there is a good thing it's like a little cherry on the top of the cake but even if there was no alcohol in places i'd still go for the fun and enjoyment of it but i've noticed in the last kind of few months i've been letting myself go a bit too much and going out too often to things that i probably shouldn't be going to right and not having that much of a memorable experience not that every occasion you have to go to has to be like a quote-unquote movie but you know you want to have a, a memorable experience you want to have go back and be like oh my god he or she was amazing oh that party was cool great great sound system great venue great but you, you want to come back with something to hold on to so now i've been thinking of myself of, of taking that kind of active participation thing or uh, you know into uh, into the whole clubbing going out thing i've been thinking you know what i want to make sure that i go to special events only special events things i'm really looking forward to go to and then kind of iterate that across the kind of you know schedule of my go through and one number one event that i want to really go to is um marie davidson the woman that made the track work you got to work. You know that track everyone's playing now these days? I'm not going to play it because they're going to flip and take down my video and claim copyright and all that malarkey. But this lady called Marie Davidson, she's playing at, um, I'm going to say, was it 9213 uh, place, whatever it's called? RA. Maybe I can find it. There we go. Let me see if I can. Oh, shit. Hold on. Marie Davidson. RA. She's got a really, really cool um, song that I'm sure some of you guys have heard and listened to. But anyway, she's playing very soon. And I think, again, Going back to my, my ethos is that nowadays going forward, I'm going to stop going to all the random nights and I'm going to invest more time into going to special occasion, which might mean me having to go to like, you know, less events week on week, but going to see the actual DJs that I think are kind of pushing things forward, that are going to inspire me, that are going to make me excited to come back home and record the mix and do this. Because sometimes, I don't know about you and I don't know about other people, but I'm just being honest. Sometimes when I go to these kind of uh, nights that aren't the most special, especially being a, a kind of you know amateur DJ myself, you kind of just get more frustrated than you do get inspired, right? Sometimes because, for instance, when I went to see um, Random play at Mace Garage, right, for the Oranges night, and Anastasia Christmas, I've got her, I pronounce her name, like, fucking incredible, right? I was in awe. It made me kind of like, it really humbled me. I was like, you know what? I'm not shit compared to these guys. These guys are fucking amazing, right? It really made me appreciate just how high level, high level people can be when you go and see them. It's like, whoa, this is like another level of what anything I've ever experienced. So with that, when you go to the opposite of that, you go to a random club night, you can sometimes feel frustrated, like bloody hell, man. You know for sure that this whole industry, entertainment, scene-wise, from you know, I don't, th- I think every scene is the same, whether it's streetwear, sneakers, you know, the metal crowd, um, skateboarding industry fashion crew photography every season the same it's all about relationships for the most part talent can get you some way but for the most part relationships um and obviously your talent your ability to do the thing you'll say you can do will get you a long way and you know for sure when you go to these little club nights like these people playing you know it's a relationship they know who's who they're friendly with the booking manager maybe you know whatever something happened they used to work with this person back in the day so sometimes you go to these shitty nights or these like you know these kind of low level nights and let me not say shitty 
and it gets you really frustrated because you think, "Fuck, man, I could be doing such, mu- I could do be doing a much better job than he or she on the decks, right?" Because and you know they're only there because of relationships, or there because of your talent. But that again shouldn't matter, right? Because there's many avenues for everyone to kind of enjoy, and you know everyone's got their place in society and do things. But in general, that kind of emotion or that kind of feeling from me personally, I don't really enjoy having that kind of feeling. That kind of because it kind of it can fester into jealousy, it can fester into envy, and it's not a good way to go about things, right? Because everyone's journey is different. Even if I say he or she has a relationship, that's why they only reason the other day. You don't know that. I don't know that. They could have fucking busted their asses for 10 years and I have no idea. They could have done unspeakable amount of things that I will never do and got to that position that they've got to, right? By merit. So there's no, you know, it's kind of presumptive, presumptive of me to think, oh, like, they're not true. They're not being real to the thing. And a lot of people that see do that, don't know, right? You get a bit butt hurt because somebody is doing something that you want to do and you get annoyed because it's, happen- it's not happening to you quicker. It's kind of like a lack of patience, really, for the most part, right? You're not being patient enough, really and truly. You know, I've used this example a lot, but I know a lot of people in streetwear who have essentially, you know, and I think that's the reason why a lot of people are quite snobby and a bit off in streetwear and a bit, you know, have a little bit of a shitty attitude because deep down, a lot of them know that they're only there because they just hung around long enough, right? For the most part, they just hung around. Like streetwear people, you can see, you know, London people can be, if they're honest, they can say the streetwear scene, the sneaker scene, the kind of like hip hop scene, whatever it may be called, I don't know what that scene is. A lot of the people that are still running things now, doing bits and doing the fucking damn thing, and you know, putting food on their plate and providing them, and providing a lifestyle for themselves just from like being a person in the scene, they're only there most of the time. They're there because they just hung around long enough. They didn't fall off when everyone else went to go and get real jobs and start families and moved away. They just hung around long enough. And you know, if you're not, like I always say, I use an your time about the photographer. If you're not a couple photographer of a scene. And there's five of you. Because I remember at the back end of the whole Cobra Snake thing, there was about five of us in London now, like, taking pictures in clubs, right? Or maybe ten of us. I don't know. Let's say ten. There was ten, right? Um, five that I knew, t- five that I didn't know. And we were out every night taking pictures of all the big club nights in Dawson and Shoreditch and uh, Hackney, North London and South London. We were just around the scene, right? Doing the bits, right? We even went to Birmingham one time taking pictures. Like, we were in there doing our thing. And the ones that are still around now making doing making the most noise are just the ones that just hung around long enough. They get invited to Paris Fashion Week, to London Fashion Week, Milan. They're going to Petit Umo. They're going to Copenhagen. Like they're doing the damn thing because they just hung around long enough. So sometimes you can get jealous, you can get a bit annoyed, but really and truly, it's kind of like more so. You know, I talk to myself and other people. You have to kind of point the finger at yourself. But 